Hello, welcome to the video. So back here again with another quest. Let me just loot all of these things. Today we're doing the Papua Pigea quest. Or however you say that name. Oinku Boinku is the first quest. You need a Kapow stamp. But I'm actually gonna jump a bit. Since I'm here to snake, I'm gonna try to get the last part of a future quest. You need three of these long sword stamps. And you need five mana stamps. Long sword stamps drops from the snakes. Mana stamp you can buy from the shop, the World One Town shop. You can buy one a day. So it will take you five days to do this quest if you start from scratch. Then you also need two smart dirt stamps. Then you also need a crystalline stamp. This only drops from crystal monsters, so it's a pretty hard one to get. And now make sure you turn them in at the World One Town stamp NPC before you turn them in into this quest, because this can only drop with the quest active. Same with the Kapow stamp. That one drops from the frogs. We will do that later. So now I'm gonna try to get a Gimme One stamp. Come on. There we go. We have the long sword stamp. Now we head to this area. Tucked away soon with the frogs. This is also where the NPC is. Blonkwugflarga thief. <laughs> Rare drop. The pig sighs over the apparent loss of something. The frog stole from him. Right, he talks weird. This is gonna be a fun one to voice. So now we gotta kill these frogs to get the Kapow stamp. Let's candy up. We got nothing. There we go, Kapow stamp. This is the Kapow stamp. Make sure you turn it in before you talk to the Papow guy. Collect Kapow stamp, one other one. Blue Guunku. Boogery tree. The pig motions dismissively at you because you got him the wrong item and he's an unappreciative little jerk. The pig then looks angrily at this chat because he can read. Oh, what a twist. Shishi, wah, wah, woo. Shueni, vegetable, thief, arg, malarg. Whoops, sorry, I was on the phone. I think the pig said one of those crystal carrots is a real thief. <laughs> Ah, my translator. He doesn't really keep up with me. Ah, interesting. He didn't steal the Kapow stamp. Now we need to do the Crystal Crime Stopper. Collect Crystalline. But I'm pretty sure he steals this one. You can see I have the Crystalline stamp. Make sure you turn it in, like I said. Yippee! Unagi! Wupu! Tai! Boo! Wanai! Old school runescape. <laughs> Durga meat pie. Bazaar. The pig is happy you found his stolen stamp, although he expresses no gratification toward you specifically. I refer you to my earlier comment. Awoyita, falao slam bam winia, kinakan. The pig wants more stamps, he is not happy being a lower class stamp holder. Bring more stamps, but not so many that the pig will have to pay stamp com tax. So this is the annoying quest. You need three long sword, five mana stamp and to smart dirt. The longsword drops from the snakes. Mana stamp drops from, well, you buy it in the shop. Yeah, he stole the crystalline stamp. As you can see, it's gone. And the smart dirt stamp drops from the world one shopping trees. I got these from the toilet tree, but I think any of them dropped it. Oink oink. Bwabula, Jurgolo. The pig is started by the amount of stamps you brought. Expecting you to bring only a few. Now here we go all the way. Oinku boinku, shamalama lonku. The pig realizes that hoarding stamps brings him no real joy and he yearns for more meaningful stampage. Upgrade your stamps a bunch to shear them up. The little piggy felt remorse. So you need to upgrade your stamp level in the world one town. You know, the big pig stamp NPC. Just upgrade them until you reach 500. I think this is the only place you can see your stamp level. So my current one is 1581. We will get the pole arm stamp, which I didn't have. And we also got the potion stamp. Snagluingu bara chongu riag ish. Thank you, noble adventurer. I eagerly await the next time that our path me ugu blar walanu. The pig points to his throat, showing embarrassment for using his opening joke and for choking. So we missed three lines of dialogue. He first says, Good morrow unto thee. Permit me to ask of you, 
Kof, 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 kof. Uga booga, onka bonku. And yeah, then he starts talking like this. I guess he has something in his throat or something. Who knows? We have done Papu Up Igea quest. And I don't really need this Kapow stamp anymore. So we got the Papu Up Igea token. And let's add it. Yay, another token. We're almost done with world one. So we have another total damage. You want these axes. Yeah, I'm not gonna crap those for you. Forget that. More effect from boost, food, uh, like potion stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this one a bit. I think I have a bunch of these mining items. Yep. I don't have any money, but oh well. Let's see how far we can get. Yeah, 15% boost. That's that's not bad, maybe. Oh, actually, you are really cheap to do. So let's grab a bunch of... Wait, I don't have any money. Let's not upgrade him on this character. Who is rich? Bible Thumper. Got a church behind him. Ah, he's poor. Must donate to him. Bookstaff, you get money? You do not. What the hell? Scene Hunt, are you rich? Yeah, you are the rich guy. Let's see, a slime sludge and brick. Hey, we got 7% damage. Not bad. And let's craft four more axes. 8% total damage bonus. Not bad at all. Now what's my damage like? Ooh, 9.8 to 1.9. Almost there at 2 million. So yeah, that's another quest done. Just make sure you turn in all the stamps at the town before you give it to the quest NPC. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.